32 point margin. The two ex captains have kicked the goals in this quarter, Healy and Ruse. That's exactly the difference at quarter time. 32 points in Melbourne's favour. Half forward right for Fitzroy. Ross Lyon nearly a chance. Chance there for Berkey. Just looks a fraction slow. There's a report coming out of this. Matthew Burke, the Fitzroy player being spoken to by umpire Cameron. The report is obviously Stephen O'Dwyer on this young player for Fitzroy, Matthew Burke, and Burke will take the free kick. Burke, centre-half forward, marking contest. No one can take it. Ball there to be gained. Broderick gets it out. Fitzroy kick it forward towards centre-half forward flank left. Campbell. Kicks it across his body and gets good distance out towards the centre wing position. Great play, Lyon. Spectacular. Vision was perfect. Now the umpire's awarded a free kick. It'll go to Melbourne. It was a relayed free kick. The kick to Lyon, but it's taken by Lovett. Kick towards half forward, Mark to Cuthbertson. Left foot kick. In towards full forward. Bennett. Oh, he nearly got it. Dundas is back there. Oh, that should be a free kick, surely. Owen falling all over the top of Dundas. Goes back in again, Owen, and gives a little biff. But the umpire will bounce. Now, this could get out of hand. We need a little bit of sternness from these two umpires because, uh, obviously, a little bit of friction there. O'Dwyer up over the top, gets the tap out, goes towards centre-half forward. Gary Lyon running for it. Tap on is magnificent. Greg Healy should goal. Left foot kick across his body. No, he misses. Didn't quite hook it. Far enough. 2-6, oh, so, sorry, 7-8 to 2-5. 50 to 17. Healy, the big kick getter on the ground with 12 and 3. Stevenson, the target. Stood his ground. And the 20-year-old from Sandy Bay. One of five newcomers to Fitzroy. Tries to get around Eichold. Kick to centre half forward, Osborne in front of Campbell this time. Wasn't that a good bit of positive play by a young fellow playing in his first game? He's took the chance, Stevenson, and got some penetration. Osborne's kicks a good one to the square. Sporting ruse, O'Dwyer. And in the end, O'Dwyer thumps it backwards and concedes the behind. 2 6 7 8. More even quarter. Fitzroy's been able to match it with Melbourne. Now, it's whether or not they can make some inroads into this five-goal lead. They, they'll need to do it before half-time. Short to stretch from White. Stretch, uh, one of those players who didn't play against West Coast last week. Former club champion. To centre wing, Phoebe had the run at Blakey. Eichold, Melbourne players everywhere there. They were four to two. Outnumbered them. The kick towards the pocket. Here's Beveridge. Stevens is going to have to make some ground. He won't get there, and Beveridge kicks another one. Eight, eight, two, six. Too easy. And that's disappointing. Beveridge is second. Well, I think uh, a comment was passed at uh, quarter time that Melbourne's directness has been the difference and that, again, within a matter of seconds, a kick in from a rush behind by uh, Fitzroy. Sean White kicking it into Stephen Stretch. And within seconds, the ball was up the other end of the ground and Luke Beveridge running into an open goal. That really shouldn't happen. So Robert Shaw's got some problems with the young Lions at the moment. Fitzroy really struggling to do anything. Now they get it towards centre half forward, but it's broken down. Stephen Clark, long kick, fairly indirect, but at least he gave Beveridge the chance to run at it. Lovely hand pass over to Eichold. Eichold in towards the uh, front of the goals, taken by Bunn. Left foot kick, stretch should mark. Good effort, O'Connell. You could have gone a fraction harder and you may have been able to do something about that. Stretch on centre wing. Kicks it in towards centre half forward. Nearly a Melbourne mark there to Owen, but he recovers brilliantly. Still gets his right foot to the ball. Kicks it wide into the pocket. The race is on. Burke, who I think is a little slow. That could be dropping the ball. Most definitely, Matthew Burke. It's against you. Well, I don't know. The free kick was against him. I would have stood on the mark. He's run away, and the ball now will come back to Eichold. So 
Simon Arshold, who uh, created a little bit of discussion a couple of years ago in a final on an angle similar to this. And he had the chance for the Demons. A lovely kick. That's a beautiful kick by Eichel. It's a goal. Well, they've got to get a spark from somewhere. 2-6 to 9-8. Maybe someone like Ruse can provide it. Playing at centre half forward, half forward flank at the moment. But uh, Melbourne have the numbers around the ball. Owen, who's been at his aggressive best in the first uh, quarter and a bit of this match, squeezes one to Bennett. Stands his ground with Lynch. Good umpiring, wind. Maybe gets down to confidence in one another. They've got a lot of new players in and they wouldn't know each other all that well. There's a 26-year-old Jim Wynn, but uh, they look outnumbered and outmanned. And with Strooper off the ground and surely not to come back, they'll be playing with 19 uh, effective players today, Fitzroy. Here's Wind. And it'll be a throw in at centre wing. The centre wing, I should say. Melbourne has an enormous incentive as well because of what happened last Sunday. Most definitely, their, uh, their start to the season was uh, not what they would have expected. You could imagine the uh, stimulation they've had at training all week from John Northey. Gary Lyon, oh, well done. Eichel, good kick again. A beauty with this roll through. Was it touched? I don't think so. Another one. So Eichel's kicked his second within two minutes, and this is a one horse race now 10 8 to 2 6. Bruce, your comment about uh, Simon Eichold's kick was perfect. It was such a penetrating kick. That's where Fitzroy are missing out. They can't get it into the clear. They can't do anything really effective with their hand passing and foot passing. So I guess you've got to give credit to Melbourne. Their defensive work is uh, impeccable at the moment. 10-8 to 2-6. It's a bath here at Princess Park for the Lions. Todd Viney, kick off the ground by O'Connell. Osborne's a chance nearly gathers the ball but he elects to kick it off the ground oh great play Stephen Clark and he'll receive a free kick held when he didn't have it but he backed himself went after it determined effort now he's short pass comes to Sean White but White's got half an hour to collect the football he might need it hand pass goes away to stretch stretch outside 50 metres kicks it high towards centre wing I shoulder in front good play by Broderick and he punches it over for a boundary throw in. Fitzroy runner working overtime. Messages going to every player. Lift, lift, lift. Let's make a game of it. We're being embarrassed. 10 8 to 2 6. O'Connell, ball comes to the back. Viney somehow gets his left foot to the ball up towards half forward. Stevens. Oh, strong. Bennett, a good bump. Melbourne have the chance here through Cuthbertson. Fitzroy player still on the ground, and Cuthbertson kicks another one. Darren Cuthbertson gets his first goal. And Melbourne in a one-horse race, 11-8 to 2-6. Fitzroy player down is Stevens. He did have the football, but he couldn't get past Darren Bennett. It was a strong bump. There's a bit of a bruise under his right eye. But credit to him, he's up on his feet. They're down on numbers, the Lions. Great goal by Cuthbertson. 11-8-2-6, Darren Cuthbertson's first goal in AFL football. And he's a likely type. Brett Lovett underneath that. So the Demons have kicked five goals, two to one, two since quarter time. They've really opened up. Lovett to half forward, Steins. Melbourne players everywhere. Beveridge to Viney, oh so easy. And another one. 12-8-2-6. And that's just what the scoreboard looked like at Subiaco last Sunday, except it was on the other foot. Well, I'm sure Peter McKenna would be enjoying this because he said Melbourne were a stone bonking certainty to finish in the top six, Bruce. And this form is much better than their form only six days ago. It must have been a long trip home for the Melbourne boys from Perth. And they've done a lot of homework and a lot of hard work on the track their preparation for this match, it's very determined Melbourne outfit. Stein's up over the top, gets the tap out. Fitzroy's still struggling to get away from the centre. Blakey, a kick across his body towards full forward. It goes through all players, wide at the back to tidy up. 
He thumps it back in towards the centre for the Demons. And it's a Melbourne mark, a good one taken by Steins. One of his really big pluses is Jimmy Steins marking in packs. Greg Healy takes the hand pass. The ball to full forward. Viney hand pass. O'Dwyer will kick another goal. It is just so predictable. O'Dwyer gets his second goal. And with still 11 minutes left in this second quarter, Melbourne are on a goal-kicking spree. Gee, that was too easy. Oh. Steins was a good tough mark at centre-half forward in a pack of three or four players. Simple hand pass to Greg Healy, who's had a mountain of possessions. Greg Healy, 16 so far. We're not even to half-time, and O'Dwyer kicks the goal. 2-6, 13-8. Well, it's a remarkable-looking scoreboard. Lion, Jim Wynn, round his body. Been a lot of that for Fitzroy today. Not much running in straight lines. Spalding, free kick, up the ground, paid the advantage. 14th kick for Healy. Bennett sets himself. Lynch has held him reasonably well. Been about the only uh, positive and plus factor for Fitzroy. Well played, Lynch. But the kick is uh, cut off by Phoebe. The new look Phoebe this year. Gone to the long blonde locks. Short dark hair this time. The kick not good. Oh, gee, two Fitzroy players messed it up, and Bennett kicks another one. Unbelievable. 14-8 to 2-6. Bennett's got his third, and it's become a joke. Well, it certainly is, because, uh, you know, the fans don't come to watch football, I don't think, at any stage, no matter whether it was 10 years, 20 years, 30 years ago, to see an annihilation, and that's what we're watching. Melbourne 14-8, Fitzroy 2-6. It could be a record margin if the Lions don't lift. <laughs> 11 to 4 Fitzroy were before this game. And I suppose there are a couple of mugs that have taken it, but there you go. Ross Lyon kicks it towards centre half forward. Oh, great mark nearly taken by Campbell. It's being paid. And it's centre half back Richard Osborne looking for the free kick, but surely it was. Better play by the Melbourne fullback. He kicks it wide, stretches on his own. He'll get around onto that favoured right foot and thump at another 50 metres. He's a beautiful kick on the run, Stephen Stretch. Owen, oh, good clash there between the two number sevens, Owen and Gale. Kick goes across Melbourne's half forward line. The race is on. Ross Lyon's in there. He tries to tap it back to Jimmy Wine. Now the hand pass goes to Ross Lyon. Somehow gets some space. Nearly caught. Gets the kick away. Mark taken out there by Blakey. At centre half back. He gives it to Bun. Bun's kicked towards half forward. Fit punched away by White. Brett Lovett, lousy as ever. Centre half back. Kicks it across that position. Out towards Steins. A tap on. Stretch. He kicks it very, very direct towards full forward. No mark. At the back. Owen. Can he unselfishly get it over? He's still there, Rod Owen. Handball into the square. He's handballed a goal, which in turn is a behind. Now, if you can understand that, you're a better man than I am. No. Melbourne 14 9, Fitzroy 2 6. I know exactly what you mean, Ian. Said it perfectly. 93 to 18. O'Connell from the kick out. Come on, Fitzroy, get something to work. O'Connell into the space, or well played by uh, Bunn to Ross Lyon. And as Robbo mentioned earlier, he's got a lot of skills, probably doesn't get enough touches to centre half forward. Beveridge, who's uh, played well. But uh, he's got 17 mates there with him at the moment. Owen in the centre. Oh, Gary Lyon with real skill to the goal square. O'Dwyer, too tall, too experienced, and just too good against Young Davis. The 20 year old or from the Bernie Hawks. O'Dwyer from the goal square to kick his third. And Melbourne's 15. And that's just what he's done. Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1991 AFL Premiership season. And I'm quite sure that Melbourne fans will agree in particular, a week is a long time in football. What a turnaround. 27-18, a massive 180. Bennett top scoring with eight goals for the Demons. Fitzroy, very disappointing. 6-13-49, but they do have a lot of injuries. Paul Roos was their main contributor with two goals. So, Melbourne back on track. Fitzroy, still plenty of work ahead of them.